Okay, so carrying on from exactly where we left off, um, what we want to do now is we're going to um, calculate a rotation based off of the input. So if we go back over to our scripts, um, thanks to our first ever tutorial on input system, I now already have my input movement variable. Uh, there will be a link in the description uh, to the tutorial on where I created this and how to use it. So I'm going to go ahead and create an update. And I'm also going to create a uh, movement. If I can spell it right. There we go. And I'm just going to call that in the update. <laughs> okay, so I might tidy this up a little bit, so I'm actually going to move our camera target down a little. Uh, target make and stay there, I'm just going to move settings above that. Um, so go our settings first, whether we're in target mode. I'm going to create a header for camera. And I'm also going to create a public reference for our camera controller. Just like that. I'm just going to go inside the inspector just to set all that up. So I'm going to open our player controller script, see our new variable, and it wants our camera controller. Okay, all nice and easy. Okay, so like I said, there's two different types of movement. Um, so the initial movement we'll set up now is um, basically when we'll just make the character look in whatever direction he's moving. So the first thing we'll do is create our movement vector. So we'll create that now. So it's just going to be a vector three and we'll just call it movement. Okay. So this is actually, let's be a little bit more creative player movement. <laughs> it's a lot more creative. Okay, so we'll be setting this player movement based off of the inputs. Um, so player movement, and we'll just give it a straight value. So this value will actually be relative to um, our camera controller. Because uh, if I'm looking left, you know, I want the character to move left, um, stuff like that. Uh, I'll, I'll explain it better once, once it's actually done. So it's basically going to be relative to the camera. Okay, so... What we'll do now is we'll set the forward and then we'll come back to moving left and right. So we'll do forward and back and then left and right. So we'll be using our camera controller dot transform dot forward. And we'll be timesing that by the setting we just created. So we'll go settings dot forward speed and we'll times that by our input. So we have our movement input and the Y axis. Just like that um, and then we'll be times in that by time dot delta time and then it's quite simple all we got to do is do character controller oh we need to create a reference for our character controller okay so the character controller we created in the last episode we're going to create a variable up here character controller and then inside the awake we want to set the value uh, because it's on the same game object we could just say get component Character controller, just like that. Okay, now we can use this variable. So character controller dot move will basically just uh, tell our character controller to move in a certain direction. All it does is it takes the vector three, so we'll pop that in there. And now our character should move in whatever direction we press. So let's go ahead. Remember, we've only done forward and back. There we go, forward and back works. Um, and as you can see, it is relative to the camera. So if I hold forward and look around, it does work. Okay, so let's do our left and right. Um, so this is also pretty simple. So we're going to be altering the player movement. So we'll just add to it. And we want to add our camera controller dot transform. And instead of forward, we'll do in dot right. 
Okay, and I'm just going to copy the same um, as we had in the last one. Okay, and I'll explain why we're not using strafe speed or anything later, except instead of our Y, we're going to be using our accent bit. So left and right. We'll just check that that works. Should be relative to the camera again. Yep, left and right. Don't worry about the jittery movement. Uh, there will be a tutorial on how to fix that. We're actually going to be smoothing the, cam the camera uh, to the player, so it looks a lot nicer. Okay, so that's all nice and working. It looks very weird though, because the character isn't m m like rotating in the direction that he's moving. If I tick the is target mode, so if you remember in our last episodes, uh, we basically forced the character to look at the camera. You see that's working just fine. And this is where we will be using the strafe speed, the back speed and the forward speed. But when we're not in target mode, it's just going to be a constant speed and the character looks in the direction that we're moving. So let's get up the rotation setup now so that the character looks in the right direction. So firstly, what I'm going to do is we don't want it to uh, set the rotation if we're in our target mode. So I'm just going to say if exclamation mark is target mode. So if we're not in target mode, then we're going to edit the rotation. So firstly, we need to work out the current rotation. I'm just going to store this in a variable. Original rotation equals transform rotation. There we go, nice and simple. And then we're going to set our rotation to what we want our target to be. So transform dot look at. Okay, so this is where it gets a little bit um, more complicated. So we're going to be telling it to look at the player movement vector, um, which should be the direction we're moving in. We're going to do it relative to our transform dot position. So we're going to just add that on. Um, and then our world up will be a vector three dot up. Okay, so now we set, if we don't do anything now, it'll just be, our character will just be snapping, which is what we don't want because um, my honest opinion, it doesn't look too great. Uh, so now we're going to try lerp the values, which is why we store the original rotation, because now we're going to store the new rotation as transform dot rotation, just like that. Okay, so we save the original rotation, we set the rotation to look in the direction and then we're saving that in a variable. So now we're actually going to be setting the transform dot rotation to what we want it to be. So I'll do transform dot rotation equals and then we'll do a quaternion dot lap. So before I continue, we're going to go over to our models script and inside player settings model, we're going to create a public flight. I'm going to call it the same as our character rotation smooth damp. Although the values will be different, um, we'll say 0.6. Uh, the reason the values are going to be different is um, we want it to, because he, he's just running uh, in a straight line, there's no strafing, there's no nothing. Um, I want it to be a little bit quicker uh, than when we're aiming in. So let's go back to our player controller. So we're going to be using that variable uh, in a second, but first our transform rotation is going to be a lap from the original rotation to the new rotation with our settings dot rotation smooth damp. Okay, so firstly, let's have a look how this works out. So I'm just going to go ahead, make sure there's 0 0.6 and hit play. Okay, so the character does move in the direction I tell him to, which is good. It'll obviously look a lot nicer once we have animations in place. Um, okay, so now if I switch it to target mode, just make sure that we can still strafe, move backward and forward, and it doesn't change the rotation, which is perfect. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. Um, we got him moving in each direction, got our target mode set up. Uh, so in the next tutorial, 
we'll be going into the target mode, setting up actual variables for strafing speed, backward speed, forward speed, um, and then walking and running. Uh, so we'll set all that up. And then after that, we will be looking at our animations. So that'll be when it actually comes to life. Uh, in between that, we might have the camera fixed though, just to make it nice and smooth. Um, just that when we do the animations, you know, it kind of all comes together and looks amazing. Cool, so go ahead and subscribe, get ready for those, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.